M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So look, got my little DV switch server here. Watch the rest of the video. I'll also put some links in of a video I made before showing you exactly how to set this up and it'll get you on DV, um, D-Star, DMR, NXDN, P25, D-Star, Fusion, everything. So, um, and, it's, and you can use your laptop and your mobile phone as well. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've made videos on DV Switch before and we've got my phone app DV Switch which runs it. We've got the monitor here and the instructions here that you can see as well. Now I have made a video how to completely set this all up quite a while ago and I've just gone back to it. All you need is a Raspberry Pi, a SD card and then all the software is free and there is a process which takes about, I don't know, half an hour to set it all up. Now we're just on parrot test here. We're listening on the laptop and the phone at the same time. So we'll just show you the parrot test. M0 FXB audio test, M0 FXB audio test. That's how we test parrot. Um, we can change from DMR D star fusion, just hold down A. Like so, look, DMR D star NXDN. You can hear my test coming through now. NXDM, P25, all that kind of stuff. There is a config to setting up the actual, if I go into the settings of my phone on the IAX app, DV switch, these are the settings. So I've got the IP address, the port that you set, call sign, DMR number, you can test, change your transmit, receive, you select ULAW at the top, USRP. Now there's so much more to DV switch. This is just one small part of it. You can actually link it to your All Star node. But anyway, once you've set it up properly, it will say registered, uh, like so. And then you can uh, have contacts using your mobile phone, and it is perfect connection, perfect audio. And if you, because Android phones, you know, Galaxy phones have such good microphones. Once you set the right gain level, that the audio is perfect. And then you get this quite nifty monitor here that. If you set it to receive, then you don't actually need the app. You do need to keep the server running, which is a Pi, and I'll quickly show you that. Um, and then you can just sit and listen to all these different modes, and you get a, a nice nifty dashboard. And look, you can click the click the call signs, and it goes to QRZ. So I find it really just fun, and because you know it's it's just tinkering and having fun. Now, if I want to tr connect to Talk Group ninety one, we can just type in ninety one send. And it will switch. There you go. Now, if I hold my finger, West 91, go to YSF, let it switch. Like so. It switches to YSF. Then we hold down the B. It's been a while since I've done this. Let's choose one, CQ UK. And if someone's there, you'd hear them. Or you can PTT, just tap the PTT. And it, look at the dashboard up there. Now, it, look at the dashboard up oops. There. Um, but we wanted UK, so let's try again. Um, CQ UK, that's the one we wanted. So let's do a test. So we'll click send to make sure we're connected. And it, look at the dashboard up there. Now we'll try again. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB audio check. We'll get an echo because I've got the audio coming out of the phone and the laptop. You can see it puts in my IP address. Now, CQ UK, his website, he's got an IP address you can use where it uses his server. So you've got M7 SNS coming in there. I didn't hear him. But you get the idea. And if you hold down B, you can change to all these. There's loads, isn't there? Which probably do hubnet. Hold down A. D star. See? Let that connect. Setting mode to D star. Hold down B. Reflector one Charlie. It will, it just sort of tells you what it's doing. <laughs> And then again on the dashboard, look M0FXB, M0FXB audio check. M0FXB, M0FXB audio check. 
So it's really good. It's free. Any help you need setting it up, just message me, and I'll, 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 you know, I'll send you the video, and then I'll just give you key pointers to help you set it up. You can see it's got my DMR number here, call sign. This is all part of what you register. I'm going to quickly show you the uh, the Raspberry Pi to show you how simple that is. So there it is. Just got an SD card in there. I think it's 16 GB. It's an old Raspberry Pi, and you can use Pi Zero, Pi Two. You can use, you know, it doesn't take much power, uh, computing power. I've done it Wi-Fi. You can set up Wi-Fi with it as well. Just by putting in a WPA file from the Pi Star builder, or you can use your Ethernet, and you just leave it there, chugging away. Put this in a case, uh, and uh, just let it chug on. So thanks for watching my channel, and uh, have a go. Bye for now. Seven three, all the best.